Hey buddy, it's 54 New Star here with a new tutorial on how to pick up items. This will be the basic version, and then I'll go into a full blown side scrolling platformer shooter mini tutorial on where we'll pick up handguns, machine guns, maybe grenades, and then deal with basic enemies. This is to basically take on, uh, to take an action platformer. Uh, so if you've seen my doggy days tutorial, we'll basically be taking that tutorial and then re-engineering it for a weaponized um, platformer. And then you'll see why they do certain things with uh, creating sprite sheets, but we'll do the basics right here. So as you can see, I have my Game Boy set up. Let me, there we go. And we can jump. And it's a very small screen, the eyeball, as you can see, uh, we're flipping and all that stuff. We picked up a gun. I'm going to exit out and then restart it. If it will go, there we go. Set it large so we can see it, but it's a bit pixelated. So as you can see, we have a blue character and we have a, a green box. The green box would usually be invisible, but that's where uh, he usually picks up items. And there we go, he's picking it up, and he's got his gun with him. Normally, there would be arms, so the arms would actually, his shoulders would be with the green boxes, and his arms would be faced in front of, uh, in front of him. So that uh, when he flips, the gun would always be in front of him, and then uh, I believe that the... Um, uh, what do you call it? The um, actual shooting bit, the actual um, you know the part uh, where the bullet comes out of would be another invisible sprite box, and that would be parented or pinned to the end of the gun, and then that's how he would shoot. But we're going to be dealing with that later. But this is just what we're going to be doing right now. And then basically, once you collect the gun, you'd be able to set like. Um, like scroll wheel, just flip through weapons or something like that, or attach silencers or all that stuff. But let's get to the actual tutorial. It's quite simple. You uh, get a character. Now I'm doing the new project with common objects. I have a floor. I have a gun. I have a character. And I have a um, attachment object. Now the gun will have a pin to object. The um, object that the gun will be pinned to has a jump through. I don't know why it has a jump through. Um, and a pinning object. And the main character has a pin, platformer, scroll to, and bound to layout. Let's get to the code. So I'm going to zoom in so we can all see this. On start of layout, the um, little green box, that's where the weapon will pin to that object. So on start of layout, that green box is pinned to the player in position and angle. Uh, and then on gun collision and pickup. So the player collides with the gun. The gun is set to Sprite 2. Remember, Sprite 2 is the uh this little green box so and, and that's why we said on start of layout that green box is going to attach to the blue player from here on out and so when we collide with the gun the gun is set his position to the green box and then it is pinned to that green box on left arrow pressed set player mirrored uh and then set simulate platform pressing left set green box mirrored and then set gun mirrored on right arrow pressed set everything not mirrored and set the platformer pressing right so this is basically to tell everything to flip the other direction so we picked it up and then we're good to go now um, we'll actually yeah, probably part of the next tutorial series will be how to pick up, how to drop, how to exchange weapons. So I will be looking for a sprite sheet. Uh, I've seen some Halo sprite sheets. I'll most likely use those um, on 
how to pick up weapons, uh, how to shoot those weapons, and so on and so forth. Um, but hopefully this answered all your guys' questions. Um, I'll, specifically, one guy um, requested it, and I will put his name in a little bubble box thanking him. And so, um, yeah, you've basically helped me create a new tutorial series. And then I will probably build like a little mini game so we know it runs and all that stuff. And then maybe some basic enemy AI. So it's like if you get close, they're going to shoot you and then you can shoot back. And then, you know, you can, like, you have a health bar, they have a health bar, all that blah, blah, blah. So, uh, remember guys, hit the like button, it does help out a lot. Hopefully this answered your questions. If you have any more, message down below. I usually add them to a very long, well, it's not, it's not long, but I usually add them to a list of, uh, Construct 2 tutorials. And so, I will continue on with that series as usual, guys. Have a great day, and I will see you later.